We're here at Phytech Fuel Injection today in Corona, California to do an installation on their brand new dual quad fuel injection system on our 1968 Plymouth Valiant. We have over here the two units that make up the dual quad system. One is a master and one is a slave. And they come in a master box with these two boxes in it as part number 30064. Uh, that kit runs 1795. Uh, the break point on the horsepower is 625 horsepower. So if you're at 625 or lower, you get the, you get the model that uh, handles uh, the $1,795. After that, it's $1,995. That's what we have here because our Indy cylinder head wedge motor makes about 657 horsepower. So basically, we're going to take off the two carburetors. We're going to take our dual quad setup off. We're going to retain our Indy cylinder head manifold, and we're going to bolt these two units on there, set up the linkage. The linkage is going to come right off the Edelbrock and go right on this. There's going to be four wires hooked up. I believe that's going to be power. It's going to be tack signal. Uh, fuel pump, and uh, uh, we'll have to see what the, the fourth one is, but it's really simple. Uh, there is a uh, wideband O2 sensor in the kit. It is self-learning, so no computer. In fact, any of the mods that you make on it are going to be made through this little handheld unit that we've got right here, and we're going to go through a series of prompts, answer some questions, and then fire it on up. What I wanted to show you is very interesting about the system right here. Uh, they've got a kind of a, an exploded version of the side of this thing. And the center of it is this uh, fuel ring right here. You can't really uh, tell, but at the base of it, where the fuel discharges, there's this ring right here. It's exposed to a well. It's a slot, and there are very small holes drilled and they're drilled at an angle downward and to the side so that when the fuel is discharged in this venturi shape it actually swirls uh, like a cyclone or a, a tornado and that's going to increase the mixture motion the fuel distribution is going to be a lot more even and and uh, there's going to be a positive side to the horsepower now we've dyno tested our Valiant with our existing setup on Phytex Mustang dyno right here and we're going to give you the results of the comparison when we're done installing it. So ride along as we put this bad boy on our Valiant's big lock. We've got everything wired up and plumbed. Let's give it a shot. Fire this thing up for the first time. Wow, that is awesome. First time, the charm. Now our handheld controller is now turned into a dashboard, which you can see giving you values for different things here. Temperature, manifold pressure, RPM, air fuel ratio in the process of learning right now. Let's take a look and, and see what it looks like through the throttle bodies. Well, here's the tail of the tape, folks. These are the dyno results before and after. 
We picked up on our very first dyno run 24.2 horsepower and 4.4 pounds feet of torque and uh, really even hasn't had a chance to fully self-learn. That number will probably in all likelihood get better as time goes on. So there you have it, installation and dyno test of a dual quad Phytech injection system.